How's it going guys? My name is The Inevitable and welcome to the first ever tutorial on animating in Minecraft on my channel. On my channel. It's going to be called Blender Minecraft Tutorials Animation Part 1 Walking Cycles. Yes, I know guys there are a lot of walking cycles out there but a lot of people don't make it look that well in my perspective. Some do look really good. Um, I really like Despic Despicable Bros. Um, love it. So interesting. And I kind of had, like, if you look back to my very first videos, The Walking Cycle, it was released before Despicable Bros. And it had exactly the same method. So I just want to point that out there that I'm not copying his method. I am just enhancing it and just doing it a different way. So I will just show you a little test thing I did here before. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty dumb. Um, you can change a couple stuff here if you go into no sync. Change a couple stuff. You can change the speed easily by going here, 30 frames. Pretty cool. And I'll link. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty fast. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that. Maybe sync. It's terrible. Goes. Like, yeah. I'm gonna leave it. No sync. Um. So this is, I guess, gonna be a pretty fast pace walking. Now there, are, there are a couple stuff to this. Um. So first of all, it is FK. But the one that I will link down will have an IKFK switch. I think. Actually, no. I just link down. Um. This one. Mm, um. Yeah, so I'll link the rig down. It I made it. It's not really that hard. Just shop bends. Quite nice body bend here. It doesn't look that good, but if I this is getting lag on my computer. But if I uh, what? I did not add this up, so whatever. Um, I believe this moves nothing at all. So yeah, there you go. Um, so I'll teach you how to do this, it's going to be really quick, and we'll get right on it. So first of all, um, I'll reopen it, so if I can quickly go onto my thing, my rig has, so I just need to delete these two. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, this is IFK, so guys do not be mad because... FK, it is so simple to animate on arms, but on legs, you know, you just want this. Now, I didn't really bother with the fancy feet. I just did it because I like when it stretches. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to quickly turn on screencast keys. You can see up here, down here, whatever. I don't care. Not really. Okay. So, let's start with our first frame. So... Basically, what you have to do is get up and walk. That's all you have to do. And to emphasize this, I'll just show you guys how easy it is to start the f first pose. So this is the first pose. Um, we select everything. We press A. Um, here we put lock rod scale, and then we press I. And also select this do my hickey. Go to about 12 or 15 frames. I personally like 12. Um, 14 is really good too. And move him forward a bit. Now get the leg you want and put a little down. Uh, make sure you move the poles, of course. So grab any leg and just roll it there. Here you can do this. And to make this more realistic, put it off to the side. So but not too much, so it still bends. Now, put the arms in opposite side of the foot forward. So, as you see here on Steve's leg, his left leg's forward, so I put his right arm forward. It's quite simple, actually. So, you can just press R, X, and then put this forward, maybe R, um, R, Y, a bit, and then just R, X. And here, you can move it backwards. I kind of did too much on that last one, so I have to reduce it. 
Um, also you can remove the body, but I highly don't suggest you do that because it will be so annoying in the future. But maybe you can just like twist it a little bit. Not that much, guys. Though. Cause remember, let's be realistic. Um, then go to your sixth frame. Oh, also on your fourth frame, just do I uh, like that. On your sixth frame, sixth frame. Um, take the leg that is going to be in front and put it up. Put it up. That's genius work. Um, move it up and then move this here. Move this up too. So it looks realistic. And now, if I show you guys, you can see that he looks like he's stepping. Yeah, it looks good. Um, you can also tweak a couple of stuff, like I said. It's honestly, like, at the end of the whole animation, there is one thing that you can do to make it, mm, like, less faster. More faster, maybe. And just, you know, tweak it, tweak it down. Um, you might want to actually do the breakdowns, the ones, the things that I'm doing right now, later on. But, I just do it right now because it's simple. Now, I don't want this animation to go for to this tutorial to go for too long so I'm just gonna stop babbling and yeah you just do the same thing on the other side you just roll it on here pretty damn simple if you ask me make sure this foot is always touching the ground like the back foot is always touching the ground so now that we got that done all you have to do is really just swap these just something like that it's not really that hard. I don't think. Maybe I'll like put this off to the side a little bit. And it honestly in the end looks quite good, like I showed you guys. Um remember though it's it's your animation, so you can go on however you want it to be. So that that looks pretty good. Looks quite nice. I'll also link this one. If you aren't guys in the um, description down below. So, yeah. Okay. So. I'm just going to do this step and then put it out. Put, it to a, put them to a stop because, you know. It's kind of self explanatory after you do it for a while. So, um, yeah. Also, guys, um, if you want more like tutorials on animating in blender like on minecraft stuff it doesn't even have to be minecraft maybe something else but minecraft base doesn't like i said doesn't matter yes thank god i did it incorrectly so put it not 32 put it on 36 so just go into adobe and put it on 36 of course if you guys didn't fail like i did the thing would have turned out perfect Good enough. Okay. Um, we're gonna need the dope sheet anyway for later use. Anyway, just grab this, put this up, and put this foot up. So now it looks pretty realistic. Successfully added 100. <laughs> so now I think it, it definitely looks more realistic than this piece of junk. <laughs> The rotating body, I love it. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think I'm gonna stop it there. Let me just create one more, and that's gonna be when you like just come into an end here. Let's see, somewhere about there, puts his hand down. Just Try not to put it on any axis too much because it will end up losing the random, like, cool state where it's like, holy schnimkins propeller. Yeah, I like to make up words. And I think, yeah, that's, that's gonna not do it for animation, for a tutorial. This is gonna make this walking, this part is gonna make this walking cycle look way cooler, guys, I promise. I totally promise. Remember, every 12 and 6 keyframes. <sighs> okay, so now you're going to go to the graph editor. And you know, 
probably heard this a bunch, but everybody's gonna be like, it's so hard to go on the graph and it's just so annoying. This is gonna be the simple way. So, you know how you put them up and down? Yeah, now it's gonna look way better. Um, so here, can do that, do that, press on the eyes and see. And basically, these lines are called F curves, and the way you change them is the way he changes. So here you can see he goes up, but then he comes down, which represents this. So you can make him go more up, more down. It's really advanced here. Um, but I think what I'm going to work on is this. This my paper just fell this is ugly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly make it so the slope oh yeah also here where it says nearest frame click on it click no auto snap so it doesn't oh my gosh i'm lagging so hard i'll be right uh, i'll be right back <sighs> all right guys so i don't have much time left um don't have much space left Actually, I think I have a lot if I do some stuff. Anyway, so just uh, change this. You can, ah, uh, you can duplicate it, but don't duplicate it. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, don't duplicate it. And just, you know, edit it. And try and make it so it's... Like here, okay, if I put this up a little bit more... If I put this up a little bit more and rotate it again and put it here and put this like that and then move this and then move this up here and then just change it up I can make a move again at the end which will give that visual representation of the momentum so yeah I've been barring for a long time now so I think you can just edit it out and you're gonna see how he comes to like a stop. Yep, he comes to like a smooth stop. He like goes forward, which is actually quite awkward. So don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Oh my gosh, I, I literally can't keep fudge my life. Let's just remove everything that I did there. It's all useless. <laughs> Forget about that, guys. Don't do that. Fudge is still doing it. The only way to change this is to delete the damn keyframe. I know it's like deleting your baby, but believe me, guys, it'll work. So, um, I think that's going to wrap it up for this. Um, I don't have much time on my clock anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to call that an end of this so laggy th freaking thing. Why is it lagging? I don't know. It's probably because of Ubercow. Stupid Skype message thingy. Okay, so if I go on the camera and you see... Um, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, pretty well. There you go. So, I will, um, put the link down in the description. This is a beginner's tutorial. So, I would make it a little bit more advanced with, like, the body and the stuff and the linear and stuff. Bezier, whatever, are, whatever they are, I don't know how to pronounce them. Basically, I'll change them up a little bit and... Um, if you want to see an advanced walking tutorial, this is a pretty simple one, but it still looks fantastic. And if you look at my old one, the one that I made a couple minutes ago, you can see it's kind of more fast paced, which is, which I'm not recording because Fraps freaking locked onto this blender screen. Well, damn it. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I will link these both into I'll link the rig and both of these walking cycles um, in the description and if you want to see more of course click on that like button um comment down below what you want to see of maybe a running cycle lip syncing if you see my run get to the chopper lip sync and you liked it then you might like what I have as, as a tutorial so yeah um, so that's pretty much it guys, if you did enjoy this, give it a like, subscribe, um, and also this is a 60 sub special, so thank you so much, I've had so much support from all of you, and my computer's not gonna have much support, cause I'm not running, I'm running out of freaking space, and my paper keeps falling over, dumb paper, 
And as always, guys, stay spooky. Thanks for watching.